Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and I have been looking at our rail lines and just noticing just how many trains we've got coming in and out. It's busy. It's really busy. It's almost to the point where it's stopped. In fact, it has stopped. Because we simply have so many trains going back and forth. Hmm. So, we need a couple of things I'm thinking about doing. Um, is basically doubling up on the line we've got going down the middle of this and moving the commuter track, or the commuter route we've got, off the main line. Um, just to give it a bit more breathing space. Um, so it'll still connect in at one end and the other end, but rather than connect onto the main line here, we're going to have another route. Um, because I'm a bit concerned that this is just getting a bit manic. It's too busy. So, to that end, we will be... disconnecting our passenger network. In fact, I'm just going to go straight out and delete that line. Our passenger network. From the rest of it. So that is the junction to get into there. You will no longer... No, that's the junction. So there's the passenger one and there's the rail one. Okay. So technically the disconnect is here. And we need to plug that back in. So let's do them a favor. And make Really? Pylon? Thank you very much. That just a little bit longer. So I'm reasonably happy with that connection. It's a railway line down to that cargo terminal and that cargo terminal. So, we were... There are no passenger stations up in this area. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's just the service route that comes around to here, which is reasonably nice and quiet, so it's not an immediate problem. I mean, once we've possibly at some point in the future date, we will put a passenger line in up here, but passenger station, passenger station, passenger station, passenger station. So, that line. Okay, so, that comes in on the passenger line, and goes to that sunken station which serves the airport. We now need to get from there to the sunken station, or to the station we have here. Pretty sure that's too close for a dive. So originally that looped round onto here. Alright, so we've got plenty of space along there, we might as well just get on and use it. So, these guys to plug in there. Alright, what have you done? In terms of what have you done? You've gone up, down, and then all signs of weird. Right. Probably the best thing to do is it start down with a straight line and connect like that. So I actually have a proper tunnel to start with. Nice. Okay, so. Come round to about 
there, and then at the surface if you please. About there, and then I want you to dive. A little bit. Okay. Let's trim that back. What I'm intending to do is come out from here. Come on, as close as we possibly can. No, come out from here and then go over this one and come down to run parallel into here. To do that, Ooh, actually, there is space if I go under that one. Right. So. Carry on to there, to about there, then you'll go curved, come around, to there, where then you come up, come back down again. So I will be extending the width of that bridge. Let's put you in first. Put that to there, right. So you're going that way, as is by request. So that is that line there heads for that building, as I want. That line there heads for the passengers. Now we need to reconnect that service road. This is one of these. Looks like you're going off at an angle. Interesting. I was pretty convinced you didn't have a problem coming out the other way last time. Scurrilous lies. Do it that way then. We will grab traffic presidents and we will pick vehicle restrictions, that bit of the bridge. We will not allow any public transport, nor will we will allow truckets. Just time tick for just a brief time. And now we want to carry on. So that comes into that the main central station, comes back out, and now we're splitting off from here. Oh, sorry, we might as well just stay elevated. If I um knocked a chunk out of that, I have That's roads, I want rail, straight line. Connect that. Well, we are headed over here. So, not like that. Don't think you need to cross anything else, so you can come down after you've come across this. 
leave you hanging loose for just a sec. Everyone likes a kinky power line. So you need to connect to... So it'll be diving in in sequence. So it needs to connect to both sides of that one. So let's do one side first. Going that way. And then let's take the other side from here. Well, oh, isn't that alarmingly steep? But fortunately, trains in city skylines don't mind those kind of slopes because they've got incredibly powerful engines. So that gets us up going over that way. It's the connection to the passenger line here. So we are heading out from over here. What is it you are unhappy about? Not enough goods to sell. To my knowledge, you're spilling out goods at a plenty of rate. You've got plenty of industrial capacity. I've got massive warnings from all of my commercial telling me I don't have enough goods to sell. Hmm. I'll finish with my railways, which will probably be this episode, and then I'm going to go and have a think about that one, because that's a puzzle. I'm afraid to say that is a puzzle. Alright, so that railway line there needs to get itself elsewhere. So I think what we'll probably do is we'll come out from this side. So you are tucked in there. I believe we already have a railway line there. Now that can't cross that at ground level. It needs to come up. So I will delay it as long as I possibly can to minimize the noise. Apparently we have a park here. Okay. Did have a park there. Which is annoying because it's a really good place to have a park. Well, we'll just move it further down. There we go. There we go. Up to here. Are we going to have this problem again? Yeah, we're going to have this problem again. Alright. Where it doesn't give me enough space to come up. So. Be that. Be that. Yeah, I'm just going to demolish you. I'm going to come back later. From there. There, if you please. And then we'll put you there, which is about as close as I can get you. And I've probably knocked some of the zoning out, so you, 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 and you. Done. Okay, so we have our. Railway line that goes into that sunken station comes out. Now, where do we want to get it? Hmm. Interesting. There's the main line. I just, I think in the previous episode, I actually put that fire station in there. Get over there and then not be road. And then can we Yes, we can put a little bit of track in there. The question is, can we get from there? To there. The answer is yes we can. Right. Now we're in business. Let's look what a straight line bridge across there would look like. 
Not bad. I don't want a straight line, though. I want... Straight line and up. And then switch to a curve. I know there is space to get a bit of raised track across here. I am convinced of it. Snap off, please. There. Knew it. Right, where are we going? We're going that way. Where's my bit of rail? We're over there. Okay. Looks like we're going down. Is it here? We're going back up onto the surface. That's the faster network connected in. Ooh. It's on one long line, um, so you can't actually get back out as easily as I would possibly like. I'm going to find a way of connecting it up so that you can get out that way onto the main line. Well, tend to just run it straight up the middle of the river. Like that. Delete those two power lines very briefly. They do need some power connection across these two locations. No. Doesn't look like that power link will be coming from this side right now. No, you don't need to be that high off the ground. That will be nicely. Right, so, that's the link that gets you from that station and back out onto there. Also links that get you into my passenger network. Slightly, but it's connected. So, we now need a route. We'll go from here. If I remember correctly where the junctions are. Then here. Then you will come into there. Yep. Then you go to the airport. Nowhere else to go, so you come back to mm. all right. Let's just cancel all of that just briefly. So you will start at that platform you will come in to that platform then you go to that platform then you go to that platform on the way back You'll come in to that platform. Yeah, so I can change that one. To that platform. And you'll complete the loop by going to there. Nice. I don't ever actually use a bit of track, but I wanted there just to get one of my passenger trains to decide they wish to use it. 
speaking of which, I should probably also put one that goes across that gap. Burp. Not easy. Not easy at all. Hmm. If you want to not have to go into that station, how am I going to do that? Well, I imagine you'll come up from here. Connect there. Done. Does that change the route at all? No, the route's not using it. So the trains are going to spend a bit of time shuffling and sorting themselves out a little bit when the cargo ones work out which route this is meant to be on. The passenger ones also sort themselves out. Hello. But that little bit of separation, I think, is probably going to help. I wonder how that um, little shortcut line is doing. Yeah, there's plenty of people wanted to use it. Let's give it a name. Passengers things. Metro. Metro line 19. The short shortcut. The short owl. Do we already got owl? A short shrew. It's a very small shrew. Just does a little bit of connection between those two. So, this episode has been about rebuilding our railway lines. Because I'm pretty convinced that we were part of the traffic jam we were getting. So there is still a lot of cargo transports going back and forth. But now, at least, there's a little bit of space between them. Alright, we don't actually need to have that connect there. We close out. We can have it connecting over here. Useful. Have a train. Yes, you're leaving. You will actually sort yourself out, I'm assuming. Or are you now perma-stuck? In the rain. Yeah, I think you're perma-stuck. That's unhelpful. A straight section just to bridge that gap. There we go. We are apparently losing a lot of money. It's coming back up. We're trying to work out where it's all been going. Possibly on this. It's a lot of money on subways. Um, let's bring it down to 130 perhaps. Spending a lot of money on these guys. Trains available in the budget. But we're getting on making our money's going back up again. All absolutely fine. We should do a quick check of our city status. All absolutely good. Now apparently elementary and school availability is ticking down. Okay, so in that case we can probably stick another elementary school in there. Plenty over here, but one over there. Let's stick one there. And here. These, these carry how many each? 300. Wow. You get a lot for your. Uh... Come on. Pretty sure there should be space along there. 
elementary schools, elementary schools, elementary schools, elementary schools. Not one there. High schools. Alright, well, we can definitely leave this, uh, zoning space for one there. No, oh, not that high density. One, two, three, and four. Five. One, two, three, and four. How many do I get for each one of these? A thousand. So if I put one in there, that should cover that gap quite nicely. Yeah, for now, anyway. Good, good. All right. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, as we zoom in over our, and fly over our beautiful city, which is beginning to suffer some commercial problems. We apparently don't have enough goods. I am guessing it's because these guys are just absolutely snarled up with traffic. We have a train traffic problem, of all things. I'm hoping that getting the passenger line off is going to help. What would you want it? Audience. Good road connections. Citizens, can you arrive at your stadium easily? Well, the match isn't for quite a while, so I'm not immediately concerned. Um, and the station's got really quite good connections. Next one, a major airport, one of our busiest areas. So I'm pretty happy it's going to be fine. It's right next to two airports, all the rest of that jazz. Yeah, so I'm guessing that part of the problem is that we're simply having trouble getting commercial trucks where they need to go because of the number of trains we've got backed up. You can see them in the distance. Train after train after train after train. And I can't do anything about it because I bought all the areas, so I can't fix this junction. I can't spread this out. I can't put one-way tracks in, I can't do anything, I could... Well, ideally what I'd probably do is put sort of one-way... get a one-way track mod and put a one-way track loop in right over the top of that. And then so I could have a better junction, because we've got lots of trains bringing goods into our city, stuck off in the distance. All and all of them stuck here. But I think that perhaps the situation is going to get better. Because, as I said, getting the passenger trains off that network is going to help greatly. In the interim, I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. Today's episode has been about trains and new train lines, basically. Making sure that we've got the capability as the rain comes down over our city to separate our passenger and uh, cargo lines so that they're not interfering with each other quite so much. Alright, bye for now.